images that sell themselves. Because if you can create images that differentiate yourself from somebody else, then that kind of does 90% of the selling for you. So how is this captured? We'll shoot wide open, f1.2, f1.4. So we use an ND filter to keep our shutter speeds below one tune of a second while shooting wide open. This is wide open with a Sigma art. Here is the setup. So we have the pro photo. This is the B1 off to the right. We have a beauty dish on it. It's a beautiful thing about a lot of power in the middle of the day is that you can actually modify it. When you're using standard flashes in the middle of the day, you can't modify them, right? All right, so let's go on another image. This was taken at a recent wedding and everything that I'm showing you all, I want you guys to realize these are all real shoots. We made a golden hour, right? This is a fake sun, okay? This is not the real sun. This is the B1 with two CTO gels. So 500 watt seconds, you're gonna need about six, seven, eight pocket strobes. This is what it looks like in camera without it. This is our, us doing a couple test shots. In camera without it, in camera with. You set up, compose the frame, and then you're just gonna start shooting and edging out. And what you're doing is you're edging out so that the, the flash reveals itself behind her hair. So edge out a little bit, come back in, edge out a little bit, take a few shots and you'll get that perfect flare that comes in. You can still get a great image with their faces. And we try and do a signature end of the night shot with every single shoot, with every single wedding. The back looks awesome, but you know, during the day, the sun hits that and it just whites out and it looks really cool. So she set up the B1 right there and it's flashing at 500 watt seconds backwards. So we're filling this back room with light, tons and tons of light, just as the sun would have if it was hitting that room. We have a CTO gel on it so that the light coming through is as if it's sunset, kind of like a golden hour image in camera. See this right here? I don't know if you can see it too well, but that's a little prism. This is the reflection room, so I'm like, oh, I love my prism. I'm gonna make a little reflection because this is the reflection hallway. This is what it looks like in camera without the flash. So here you can see the reflection starting to come through as this light is reflected below in that image, right? Once the flash goes on, we switch for, we basically just dial down the ambient exposure a little bit. We turn on the flash and we get this. 